What did the mama light bulb say to the baby light bulb? What? I love you, Watts and Watts. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, hi. I'm Kate. Hi, and I'm Calliope. And we're coming to visit you soon. Mm hmm yeah. Oh, I'm going to sing, and Kate's going to play her trumpet. Oh, and Rebecca's going to play her trumpet. Oh, and then there's the trombone, oh, and a French horn, and a bass trombone. And we're going to tell stories, and you're going to help choose the music for our stories. Ah, oh, it's going to be so amazing. <sighs> yeah, we're getting pretty excited to visit you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, but. But. Before we come, there are some things you need to know. Yes, we would like to tell you a little bit about the instruments that we're going to bring with us. Mm -hmm. We are a brass quintet, and oh, oh, oh the quintet, uh, like, like that—that that, that means that there are five of you, like yes. how quintuplets are babies. Exactly. Yes, quint. quint means five. So the five instruments in a brass quintet are two trumpets, <gasps> two trumpets, one French horn, one French horn, one trombone. One trombone. And one bass trombone. One bass trombone. One. One. Two. two three, three. Oh, three. Four. four five. five. <laughs> and all of the instruments in the brass quintet are instruments of the brass family. Ah. Do you know what makes instruments part of the brass family? Um, because they're made of brass? Yes. They are made of brass, and what else? What else makes them the brass family? Uh, oh, uh, look at the shape. Uh, they have this big swoop at the end. Yes, this swoopy thing is called the bell. All the brass instruments have bells, Ooh. and see how they are all different sizes? <gasps> yeah, the trumpet yeah. bells are a lot smaller than the other three, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, the trumpets have the smallest bells, and. And then these three are much bigger. Yeah. And <laughs> the other unique thing about brass instruments is the way that we produce the sound. Oh, do, do you sing into it or something? Uh, no, we actually don't sing into it. When we're singing and speaking, our vocal cords vibrate. Do you want to try it? Um, take your hand, put it really gently on your throat, and <laughs> let's sing together. La, 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 la. <gasps> la, 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 la. <gasps> Did you feel the vibrations? Yes. Very good, Calliope. So, um, if you are a member of the string family of instruments, you create the sound by making the string vibrate when you pull the bow over the string. Oh. If the instrument is a member of the woodwind family, they have this little tiny piece of wood called a reed, and they blow the air over the reed to make the reed vibrate. <laughs> And with brass instruments, the vibration comes from right here on our lips. It sounds like this. <laughs> Kind of like a buzzing bee. You want to try? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, take your hand a couple inches in front of your face. Say him and <laughs> buzz. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good, Calliope. <laughs> and then we take that buzzing sound, and all brass instruments have a mouthpiece. See how they're all different sizes? So the mouthpiece goes right on our lips and. <laughs> Kate, uh, that's a pretty strange sound. It sounded more like a kazoo than a trumpet. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why we don't actually play on the mouthpiece. We take the mouthpiece and we put it into the instrument. The vibrations go all the way through the tubes and swoop out the bell and... Gonna love it. Can't wait to see you soon. Bye bye. bye.